What's up, guys? <clears> There's <throat> been a lot of talk lately about what's been going on with the Xbox Series X and the Series S. And Phil Spencer did an interview today talking about, you know, the rough times that they've been going through lately with the Xbox. And, you know, the, the Redfall game just recently came out and disappointed a lot of fans because basically Redfall is a game that appears to be unfinished. It has a bunch of bugs and glitches. The game constantly crashes. And people want to know why did they release this game if it wasn't ready? And Phil Spencer addressed these issues and, and talked about a lot of other stuff in the interview he did today. Now, the main thing that caught my attention in this interview was what he said about uh, selling consoles. Now, he said... And this is coming from his mouth. He said that even if a game like their upcoming game, Starfield, was a, like a 10 or an 11 out of 10 game, he believes that that wouldn't sell Xbox consoles. Now, I don't know what planet he lives on or what reality he's in, but... It's quite obvious that if your console has good quality games, especially a big variety of them, that sells consoles. It's always been like that. Look at the original Nintendo and the Super Nintendo. Sold a lot of consoles because of the games. Same thing with the Sega Genesis. The original PlayStation, the PlayStation 2 sold lots of systems because it had the games and it just seems like looks like Xbox just lost its focus it's not the same they're not making the same decisions that they made back with the original Xbox and the Xbox 360 now as for me I'm just a gamer, so, you know, I've played games on pretty much all the systems. I've owned many Nintendo systems, many PlayStation systems. I've owned the original Xbox and the Xbox 360. And we have an Xbox Series S currently in, in our household. But, Honestly, what's hurting the Xbox Series X and the Series S, they just don't have enough exclusive games. That's the bottom line. So I don't understand how Phil Spencer, who is one of the higher ups in Xbox, how he can't see this, that if they had a bunch of exclusive games that you can only play on Xbox, on the Xbox Series X and S, that would sell systems, bottom line. But for some odd reason, he thinks that having a bunch of uh, great games isn't going to help them sell systems, which I find very strange. I don't understand why he believes this. But if you keep having this same mentality that it's just going to hurt the Xbox brand even more, Because Nintendo and PlayStation have plenty of great games. Big variety of games to choose from. That's what sells systems. But on, on the Xbox end, it's, let's be honest. When it comes to exclusives, they don't really have that many. You know, they have Halo. They have Gears. They got... Forza. But after that, what do they have? Now, 
a lot of Xbox fans are looking forward to this Starfield game. But the thing is, if they launch Starfield the same way that they launched Redfall, that's going to be a disaster. So I'm hoping that they don't make the same mistake again and release a game that's not finished. That's not fair to the fans. Fans deserve a complete game, especially if they're going to pay $70 for it. You can't release a game that's unfinished and expect people to buy it. That's not right. Because I looked at that Redfall gameplay. And I've looked at different people's videos. That game is, it does look unfinished. And I don't know who was the person who gave them the okay to release that game like that when they should have just delayed it and finished the game. But, um... Basically, that's my thoughts on the situation. I think uh, Xbox, I think Phil Spencer needs to seriously rethink his strategy because um, if he keeps going down this road, that's not going to be good. They need to have that competitive spirit like they did in the Xbox 360 era. You know, back then, they was able to compete pretty good with Sony. But I started seeing a shift with the Xbox One, how it kind of didn't have as many games. That's why I never owned the Xbox One. I bought the PS4, because the PS4 had the games I was looking for. And I'm basically seeing the same thing happening again in this generation. PS5 has more of the games that I want compared to the Xbox Series X when it comes to exclusive games now yeah third party support is all good and well but what truly sells a system in my opinion is the exclusives the first party games and right now i just don't see that much happening on the xbox end so you know i want to see xbox do well because when you have good competition it's a win for everybody because it's going to keep Sony on their toes and it's going to keep Nintendo on their toes. But if you're just waving a white flag saying, oh, well, we're not trying to compete. That's not good for gaming. You know, you want all the systems to do well. But that's my thoughts on the situation. Um, and I'll see you guys later.